These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for December the 13th, 2020. The blog post this week is the seventh in my series on the Wadsworth Athenaeum. This one isn't exclusively Wadsworth Athenaeum because the Wadsworth has several really nice paintings of Niagara Falls and I thought it would be useful, interesting to show you a whole sequence of pictures, historical sequence, on Niagara Falls. Second, Bruce Crane, Snow Scene, this is at the Metropolitan Museum of Art and dates to around 1890 to 1900. If I'd grown up in the South or the Southwest, this watercolor probably wouldn't affect me at all. As it is, when winter begins, I enjoy seeing the starkness of freshly fallen snow, although I prefer it to be steep enough to allow for downhill skiing. Bruce Crane, 1857 to 1937, painted in New York and New Jersey. Third recommendation, Separate Tables, 1958 movie. It involves half a dozen characters that I actually care about, it is well written, well directed, and well acted by, among others, Burt Lancaster, David Niven, Deborah Carr, and a stunningly beautiful Rita Haydworth. For the movie, Terence Radigan combined two of his one-act plays set in a small seaside residential hotel, Table by the Window and Table Number 7. Hat tip to Scott McConnell, who used this as an example of how a high-value conflict can be structured in a movie. I've also given you a link to an IMDb page that has some lines for the movie that are pure Radigan. The fourth recommendation this week is a short story by Dorothy Canfield Fisher. Fisher really liked Henry Kitchell Webster's novel, The Real Adventure, and Henry Kitchell Webster really liked the story that I'm recommending this week. DianeDurantiWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, and my many other obsessions. To join the free Sunday recommendations list, visit the URL that's on your screen or email me. And you can say well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on dianedurantiwriter.com. Thanks as always for listening.